Now in this segment, let us take a short quiz on the concepts that we have learned until now. First, given the relation MR equals to P into E minus 1 by E and if E is less than 1, then A, MR will be less than 0, B, MR will be greater than 0, C, MR will be equal to 0, D, none of these. We have learned the principles. We have learned the three cases. That is, when E is 0, MR becomes 0. E is greater than 1, MR is positive and E is less than 1, MR becomes negative. So in this case we are given E is less than 1. So MR should be negative. To be negative it has to be less than 0. The answer is MR is less than 0. Let's check. Yes, that's the answer. Next, given the relation MR equals to P into E minus 1 by E if E is greater than 1. So in this problem we are given the case where E is greater than 1. So what will be the case? A. MR will be greater than 0. B. MR will be less than 0. C. MR will be equal to 0 or D. None. Yes, it will be greater than 0. So when E is more than 1, MR will be positive. That is, it will be more than 0. Let's check. Yes, that's the answer. Next, MR of nth unit is given by A, TR at n minus TR at n minus 1, B, TR at n divided by TR at n minus 1, C, TR at n plus TR at n minus 1 and D, all of these. Yes, we have already done this concept where marginal revenue of a product is the total revenue at nth unit minus the total revenue at n minus 1 unit. So the answer is A in this case. Let's check. Yes, correct. That's the answer. Next question. Given AR equals to 5 and elasticity of demand equal to 2, find MR. MR will be positive 2.5, negative 2.5, positive 1.5 or positive 2. The answer here will be positive 2.5. Let's check. That's the answer. Now let's see how did we arrive to this answer? We know that MR equals to AR into E minus 1 divided by E. Now here we are given AR equals to 5 and elasticity of demand that is E equals to 2. Therefore 2 minus 1 divided by 2. This equals 5 into 2 minus 1 is 1 divided by 2. Therefore, 5 into 1 by 2, that is half of 5, is 2.5. This is positive. So, the answer is plus 
Next, if a seller obtains 3000 after selling 50 units and rupees 3100 after selling 52 units, then MR will be A 59.62, B 50, C 60, D 59.8. You will get 10 more seconds to solve this. Yes, the time's up. The answer is 50. Let's check. Yes. Now, how did we get 50 here? Look. When the quantity is 50, total revenue is 3000. When the quantity is 52, the total revenue is 3100. Now we know that MR is Delta TR upon delta q. Now what is the change in tr here? By how much does tr change? It changes by 100. From 3000 it becomes 3100 so it changes by 100. So we can write 100 for delta tr. And by how much does the quantity change? It changes by 2, 52 minus 50. So for delta Q we can write 2, the answer would be 50. So our MR would be 50. Now we also know there is another formula for MR. That is MR at nth unit is TR at nth unit minus TR at n minus 1 unit. But we should not use this formula for calculating marginal revenue here because the difference between the units is 2. This formula holds good when the difference between the units is only 1 because we want n minus 1 units here. So, but we are not given the TR at 51st unit. So, we cannot find the MR in this case. So, this is the formula that will always hold good. So, what I recommend is always use this formula.